time for Kiko to use his recently acquired Lightning Bird. More likely time to go over the sea. We already have a Pokémon to deal with going over the sea. Hey folks, it's me, Kikoskia, welcoming you to the stream where we continue Pokémon Fire Red. This is the pre-stream part, which gives you the opportunity to get here, get comfortable, and get ready for Pokémon. And it gives me a chance to talk to people that are here. How are you all? I hope you're well. Mayhem! Yippee! And Deus Phoenix there with a subscription! Sixth month streak! Hey, Kiko and chat! Greetings, Deus Phoenix! How goes it? There's really not that many people to talk to in town, Bindle. We spoke to them all already when we first played. I got to play D&D for 20 minutes, so that was great! Glad to hear it! I am okay, thank you, uh... Zortian? Or Zotrian, I think it is? Yes, Zotrian. Uh, recording took longer than I wanted it to, so I've had less time after everything I had to do. And, uh... Well, between that and this, but, uh... Today's been okay. I've got no real complaints. Got to play a little bit of Animal Crossing before this. We are here in Pallet Town. Waiting for, uh, the pre-stream to end so that we can head over the sea. That's quite a win there, Chance. I'm terrible at baking. I'm very good at cooking in general, and terrible at baking! Sometimes it's just fine not to fill every single moment with stuff, and just have a little bit of time to... relax. And just take things easy. Watch the NPCs walk around in a random way, watch the flowers move, be completely stationary because we have no idle animations whatsoever. We just stare and stare and stare. Greetings, Uncle Putt. Greetings, everyone. I'm happy to have you all here. Indeed, it's uh. Sometimes it's a little Mayhem. bit temperamental with. Oh, and uh. Alias41 there, six month streak. The cup has an upgrade now. Thanks for being here, Kiko. No, thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. This would be nothing without all of you. And stare he does. He just keeps staring. Mayhem, yippee! And that is El Nice Gaio there. Six months for you as well. Thank you very much. So very generous, all of you. Thank you. You remember to come in time for the pre-stream. You're totally a responsible adult that can remember basic things and keep track of time. Well, on the uh, main page there's a handy dandy timer thing which tells you the time till the next stream. You can use that to keep track. How can there are flowers in the world that are flowers and flowers that are deadly combat machines? Eh. You're asking the wrong person. You are asking the wrong person. And indeed, six months does fly by very quickly. He's not watching paint dry, he's just looking at the sky. It's a nice day. See, we can move, but we're not moving from a spot. Well, you can't see if he's looking up. I mean, just because he's facing that way, his eyes could be looking up. It's possible. Besides, the sky is big. You can be staring straight ahead and still see the sky. Staring ahead and uh, not seeing the sky is actually quite difficult unless you're in a place that is heavily built up, and even then, you'll still probably see a bit of the sky. Or if you're underground. Or in a place with a very thick uh, tree line. But usually you'll be able to see the sky. 
Oh, trust me, I, I know full well how tiny, fleeting, and insignificant I am compared to the infinite reaches of the universe that will span for many eons long after I have ceased to be and all that remember me have ceased to be. It's very humbling. He could just be staring at us, that is true. He could be. As for people that are curious about the team, we have uh, Ronin here, who is level 37. We have uh, Zephyrus there, level 38. Also, uh, I very much doubt that TMTVL. Nice to think, but I do doubt it. Paper Cup is level 38, Mega Lucario is level 37, Mortal is level 37, and Cabalion, level 37. Got a pretty good team here, albeit one that has two uh, flying Pokemon, and is going to have a third when Mega Lucario evolves, but that'll be fine, because they are pretty strong. Mayhem. And there is Cav2K with the six month streak. Greetings Cav2K, thank you so very much for being here. Thank you. Got a pretty nice team. And while I'm thinking about it, we should probably switch you to the front, for no particular reason whatsoever. You have the- oh no no, you should probably actually have the amulet coin. You should probably keep that, as you're going to be doing quite a bit of battling. For no particular reason. Actually, the, uh, the reason is because, uh, there's gonna be lots of water Pokémon. Indeed, Bindle, there's gonna be a lot of water Pokémon in our future because we're going over the sea. You'd think they'd have something different, but no, it's mostly gonna be water types. We should so open our mom our new Zapdos. You know, I don't think they care. I really don't think they care. That's okay, Chance. Uh, coach right there, by the way. The stream may be all washed up. Uh-oh. All of the sea puns are beginning. It's starting. It's not gonna stop. It's like a, a river of punitude. We are going to be heading, for those curious, this way. We're gonna surf, and we're going to see what we will find at sea. Haven't caught up with last week's stream yet. Got any good Pokemon in it? Ho oh, ho! Uh, hmm. I, I think I'll let you watch that one. I don't think I'm gonna give that one away. Can we see the sea? Uh, yes, it, it's right there. Well, there's a little bit of river, and then the sea's right over there. A, B, C. Oh dear. Oh dear. Also, we've been doing pretty well at keeping our team relatively even in levels. Those levels are only going to get higher as time goes on. Gamaleon's going to be getting quite a few levels when we get to the uh, next location. And then we'll have a uh, little detour to do, and then we'll head to the final gym. We actually have uh, six of the badges. We're doing really well in that regard. We have six gym badges. Uh-oh. Warrior Crow is giving us advanced warning. You should all brace for impact, everyone. I am hiding behind this tree. Mayhem, yippee! That is ten subs, Warrior Crow. Ten gifted subs. Whoa! That's more than three. That's a lot more than three. Whoa, thank you so very much. Thank you. That's so very generous. Thank you. Bravo indeed! Uh, missing no is not really in this version, no, and even if it was, we're not going to be catching it. Thank you so very much, that is very generous of you. Really is. They didn't remove it in yellow. It is a seven, so you know what time it is. It's time to get started. It's time to... surf. Help us, Chameleon! It is time to go to sea. First, Route 21. 
There might be Pokemon here. There are Pokemon here, but I don't think they're especially... Never mind! <laughs> Lunalam there is gifting five subs as well! Whoa! Thank you so very much, thank you! That is very generous of you, and here's a Tangela! A new Pokemon to catch! Well, it's time to uh, have at thee with the catching, and for that we are going to need... Ronin. It's a Tangela! The only in a Gen 1 non-poison grass type. Also, that's only three points of damage. So we're just going to, uh, oops, wrong uh, command there. We are going to use Hypnosis. And when it's asleep, we're just going to throw a great ball at it. The spaghetti Pokemon! No, 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 it's vines, not spaghetti. We're not going to mimic to absorb. We're just going to, uh... Actually, that's not a terrible idea. That's not a terrible idea. Let's do it. It failed. Well, it was worth a try. Now let's just throw a, uh, a great ball. And a squirrel crusher there with five uh, gift subs as well. What has been started? Oh no! Duck and cover, everyone. Thank you so very much. That is very generous indeed. So very generous, all of you. Really are. Let's see if this great ball does the trick. Nope, that did not. We're gonna have to throw another one and see what happens. The answer is it's probably not gonna work. One. Nope, we need to deal some damage. The problem is, uh, dealing that damage is going to be tricky on account of, uh, yeah, on account of it being level 17. We'll Hypnosis again. Nope, attack missed. We really don't want to, uh, copy that. We have lots of, uh, power points. We can afford to spend a few. Yeah, the problem is, my own grass type is almost twice the level and has a ridiculously powerful move. It would likely one-hit KO Tangler, even with the not very effective. We'll try this again. We've got plenty of, uh, these. On the other hand... Hmm... Now we can try and see if this will work. Okay. Mimic. There we go! We learned Absorb. Fortunately, that won't work. Let us, uh... We only have five uses of this. Let us use Hypnosis get you back to sleep, and use Absorb to weaken Tangela. The problem with uh, that idea, Mulvanian, is I can't switch out right now, and uh, I then have to just go and re-switch uh, the Pokémon back in every time I wanted to go back to using my main team. Let's see what Absorb does. Tangela does not evolve into anything in this game. Evolve, really? Uh, sorry, uh, Absorb, rather doesn't really do anything. Also, it just woke up! Darn it! <laughs> We're not going to be doing anything with this Absorb. It was worth a go, though, just to, uh, see if this would do anything. The answer is it's just going to, uh, well, it's going to do that and raise its special attack, which is not fantastic. We can set it to sleep, though. It may be uh, a pretty good move for that, but we do not have False Swipe. It's not going to absorb a lot of time. I'm going to run out of Absorb Power Points pretty soon. Besides, we want to catch this Pokémon. It's a new Pokémon. Are you going to wake up? Nope, fast asleep still. Marvelous. Throw an Ultra Ball at it? May do. But first, we want to get it into the yellow. Remember last time there was somebody that wanted me to use my Master Ball? Oh look, it's woken up! Constrict. Not gonna do very much though. Hypnosis. Get you back to sleep. You want to catch it so it'll eternally be stuffed in the PC box. That's how it goes! It can't use Raw. It doesn't have a uh, Raw. Right, let's use a Great Ball now. 
It's asleep. It's a yellow health. And it still won't be caught. And it's awake. Oh, Tangela, you pesky Pokemon, you. Let's put you back to sleep. And this time we are going to use an Ultra Ball. It's all right. We've got plenty of Pokeballs. And we can always get more money. It's not like we'll ever be short of money. Okay. You want to be difficult to catch? We have the best kind of Pokeball here. Marvelous. Tangler was caught. Tangler's data was added to the Pokedex. Blue plant vines cloak the Pokemon's identity in a tangled mess. It entangles anything that gets close. Give a nickname to the captured Tangler? Of course! Look at that little uh, graphic there for the Tangler. Looks like it's got a little tongue going. It is Julius. Mayhem! Yippee! And Tantaris there has just gifted two subs. Thank you so very much. You're all so very generous. You really are. Thank you. And with that, Julius is a Tangela. Congratulations. Shall we see if there's anything else here? It is a very gifty uh, stream, and yes, aka man. Very, very correct. We have another Tangler. We don't want to face another Tangler. We will uh, just run. We'll try a few more times. See if there's anything else here. There probably isn't going to be. Whereupon we will go back to surfing. I, I get the distinct feeling we are only going to encounter Tangler here. If we get a shiny, I'll certainly catch it, but uh, we haven't found one yet, and I don't think we will. I, I think it's just going to be Tanglers, so let's leave. 100% Tangler, right. That's the confirmation I needed. Let us surf away! Over here, where we will find this person. Hello. I got a big haul. Wanna go for it? The Pokemon battle, I take it? No, no, no. Uh, helping me with this big haul is, is really big. Wade wants to battle and has six Pokemon. Hey, look what this is here. It's a magic arm. Guess what else it is? It's not a challenge. That's Magikarp number one. That's a tiny amount of experience. Hey, guess what? It's another Magikarp. This one's also level 27. This one's also going to get hit with Shockwave. There's always one. Yep, there's always one. That's Magikarp number two. Here's Magikarp number three. What level is this one? Oh look, it's level 27, like the other two that we've already fought. Kapow! And down you go. Another 57 experience. Here's the next Magikarp. Is this one also going to be? Yep, level 27. Kapow! Super effective! Another 57 experience each. And here comes Magikarp number 5 that's also level 27. Your eyes are not deceiving you. You haven't seen the same clip of uh, gameplay five times in a row. It's just that each of these Magikarps are exactly the same, and this move never miss misses. Uh, misses? Nope. Never misses either. And here's the final Magikarp, also level 27. And it's gone. Kapow. Also, not a ditto, because the ditto would have to come out as a ditto and then use Imposter to then become Magikarp. But it won't, because it's facing a Jolteon. 
How do we win? <laughs> Magic Carp just don't make the grade, do they? No! No, we don't. Also, thank you for the uh, money. I seem to only catch Magic Carp. Well, what you need is a better fishing rod. Hopefully, the person that's on this little island doesn't have Magic Carp as well. Hello. You want to know if the fish are fighting? Spoiler alert. Yes. Yes, they are. Here is Ronald, who has four Magic Carp. Hey, it's not a Magic Carp. It's a uh. It's a Sea King. I actually said four Magic Carp instead of four Pokemon. Let's just use Thunderbolt this time. This doesn't need Shockwave. This needs a move that's far more powerful. It's a totally different sort of fish that actually has moves that aren't tackle and actually gives experience because it's evolved. This is not evolved. It's going to give us far less experience, but hey, it's still going to give us experience and it's still going to get Thunderbolted. Kapow! With the right type matchup, any of these fights are uh, rather trivial. Also, Mortal has now nearly gained a level. Here's another Sea King. It's a good thing that all these trainers, uh, you can pretty much determine from their profession what kind of Pokemon they're going to have. But imagine if uh, suddenly a Sand Slash appeared. Then we'd be in trouble. Fortunately, that won't happen. And instead, level 38. And more experience for Mega Lucario. Final Pokemon! It's another Sea King! Unless you're the Poison Gym. We don't speak about the Poison Gym. We don't speak about the Poison Gym. That was an experience. Well, there was a, um... I think one of the games had a rival that would just pick Pokemon from the uh, area that you were in, so their team was always different. Didn't mean the team was any good. Dang! 2,000 Poke Dollars! Can't catch anything good. Not one good Pokemon to be had. Maybe it's because you live on a tiny little island here. Also, yeah, you're, uh, you're there. I feel like having you there is kind of important because of what might happen here. Two people next to each other. Also, nothing interesting happening here, and that water is too deep to uh, get to. Can't even get to it. Also, we can encounter Pokemon on the water. Hey, it's a tentacle! We already have a tentacle, so uh, let's just run. See you later, Warrior Crow. Thanks for the uh, the gifts. Hello. My sis doesn't get enough exercise, so I made her come. It's time for a double battle in the sea. Sis and Bro, Lil and Ian would like to battle. They have a Seedra and a Starmie. Oh no! It's a good thing we have an electric Pokemon and a grass type Pokemon, eh? So, Thunderbolt on the Starmie, and Giga Drain on the Seedra. They were indeed made, made of uh, planks in Gen 1. And that's the end of the dangerous one because you had psychic moves, most likely, that could have hurt Zephyrus. That was a shocking experience. Oh! And now, Twister. I mean, it will hit both of us. That is something that Twister does. Unfortunately, Giga Drain. <laughs> it's super effective. And there we go. That's one less battle to deal with. Aw, sis, get it together. And a tiny amount of money. Come on, sis. You're not going to lose weight like this. I'm tired. Can we go home already? No, you cannot. Also, this island has nothing interesting on it. There is, however, this person that is swimming around. Constantly. And never, ever stopping. Perfect for a poison, Jim. Yep. The sea cleanses my body and soul. Also, Pokemon battle. All right, if you want a Pokemon battle, Spencer, you have a Seedra. We have a electric Pokemon. You lose. Really, you lose. 
There is no strategy needed beyond we have an electric Pokemon, you lose. Case in point. Also, level 38 for Mega Lucario. Trying to learn agility. I don't feel like we want to learn this. It's a pretty good move. It sharply increases speed, but uh, then again, do we ever really use Twister? Do we ever use Twister? I, I feel like Twister is a bit of a non-move here. Yeah, I think we can get rid of uh, Twister for agility. No to agility, but... Mm. Yeah, agility is is worse. We won't take it. We probably, we probably uh, won't use it, that is true. Speaking of which, here's Tentacruel. You're quite scary. Fortunately, you're a Water-type Pokémon. And we have electric moves. Kapow! That's the end of you! Nice amount of experience. And there we go. Oh, oh. Tiny amount of money there. The sea is great and all, but I like the mountains too. And if we go down here... Hello! How are you? Can't actually battle you when we are there. Hey, don't scare away the fish! For that, we will Pokemon battle really loudly and thus scare away the fish. It's Claude who has two Pokemon. That guy has incredible stamina. That's how he hasn't drowned. Also, here's a Shelda. Hello, how are you? I'll tell you how you are. Thunderbolt. Kipow! Mayhem! Yippee! And Luna Lamb has just gifted a sub. Thank you so very much, Luna Lamb. Thank you. So very generous. Shelda. <laughs> Indeed. And here's a Cloyster. We're not going to be switching. Cloyster's bigger and nastier. Also, Cloyster is still critically hit by electric moves. Nice try, though. More experience. Won't say no to that. It is quite a grin. Sorry, I'm just frustrated from not catching anything. Also, back to huge amounts of money. Sheesh, I have caught a thing. Could this place actually be a giant pool or something? No, no, it's it's actually a big, big body of water, but you're just not doing very well with that fishing rod. It is lacking the silliness, that is true. Also, you! Keep me company till I get a hit. And by that, I mean Pokemon battle, of course. It is Nolan, who has two Pokémon. Oh look, it's a Sea King. And we have an Electric-type Pokémon. Are you seeing a trend here? Because you should be seeing a trend. It's called Type Advantage. Super effective. And victory. Well, we do get nice experience for the evolved Pokémon. And here's a Goldeen! Again, if you had a Sand Slash, this would be brilliant for you. But you don't! So, Shockwave. Kapow! Victory is mine. It won't be too long before we get to where we want to be. Also, level 39 for Mortal. And we win! That burns some time. Also, lots of money. Lots of people fishing without a license. They might have a license. Oh wait, I got a bite! Yeah! Now get out of my way. I need to see if I can... Oh, it's a magic car. Darn it. Now let's go! Over here is... another bit Mayhem. of land. Yippee. And Dark Dawnstar just subscribed! Three months now! Thank you very much, so very generous, thank you! And you know what time it is. Now to stand here for the rest of forever. It's time to immediately uh, get into a battle. I caught my Pokemon at sea. I was swimming while I did it. It was quite a feat. Also, you have one Pokemon, and it's a Starmie. It's level 37, and that's pretty impressive. However, and I feel like I've said this however a fair amount, 
You're a water type Pokemon, and I have a Jolteon. I mean, you might have been very impressive if I was using Charizard at this point for this battle, but why would I be? Diver! Down! And tiny amount of money. Where'd you catch your Pokemon? Well, it's a long story. Also, hello. Ugh! Feel the sun and the wind! I hate both of these, apparently! Sure, he doesn't have big pockets. Also, three Pokemon here from uh, Roland. Here is a Poliwall. You don't have to go to the Pokemon to uh, activate Surf, just press A on the water. Ooh, that is a good point. That is a good point. That is just force of habit. Thank you very much. Also, Shockwave, because it never misses. I know it was more of an ah, but I like it being ah. I didn't steal it, I was sort of given it. Also, here's Tentacool. The Poliwhirl was honestly a bit more threatening. Either way, we will do what we've been doing all the way through this. Zapping everything. Well, there was someone in there. They didn't say we couldn't have it. And a Seedra. And here comes Old Dragon. He has arrived in the middle of us crossing the sea with an electric Pokemon. That's really good. As you can probably imagine, this has been quite a smooth voyage. Greetings and welcome. There is ham! Indeed there is ham. And we have victory. Oh, I lost. And tiny amount of money. I'm sunburned to a crisp. And... Oh, here comes a battle. This is... Another tentacle. It's level five. No, oh, it's been a smooth voyage so far. Also, Pokemon battle. Right now, I'm in a triathlon meet by myself, alone. Also, I have two Pokemon. Ooh, it's a Star You. To be fair, none of these people have had a Star You yet. It's still going to end the same way all the other ones have been ended with electric moves. Oh, maybe you could be in a Pokemon battle and a triathlon meet. Multitasking, it's a thing. Also, Mega Lucario, level 39 now. And Wartortle, ooh, haven't seen you for a long time. Hello. I think Shockwave, ooh, you have Protect. It's gonna be one of those kind of battles, is it? Ah, yes. Fortunately, we went faster this time, and you didn't use Protect, because Protect has uh, increased priority, so uh, typically you'll get Protect off first, even if you're slower. Ready to see a starter, yes indeed. And we win. <sighs> I'm so tired. Let's just, just take the money and go. I'm beat, but I still have the bike race and the marathon left. Also, we have arrived. Cinnabar Island! Cinnabar's Jim Blaine is quite the odd fellow. He's lived on the island since way before the lab was built. By the way, the lab? That's not this. That's Cinnabar Island, a fiery town of burning desire. There's Jim here. The door's locked, though. Hmm. The hot headed quiz master. Curious. Scientists conduct experiments in the burned out building. You know, the one they call the Pokemon Mansion. What is this? It's the Pokemon Lab. Before we go in there, though, it's Mayhem. time Yippee. to look at the five gift subs that have just happened from Comair. Whoa, thank you so very much. Today is indeed a day of gift subbing. And you are all awesome. Not just the people that are gifting gift subs, but everyone. Thank you so very much. Wow. Also, we are healed up. And we have some fossils to get revived. Remember those? We got them way, way long ago. One of them in Mount Moon, one of them in the museum. 
We study Pokémon extensively every day. People often bring us rare Pokémon for examination. And we need to find one of these rooms. This is the uh, meeting room. Let's go in here and talk to everyone here. Hello there! Do you happen to have a Raichu? Would you agree to trade for my Electrode? Mm, thanks. Well, if you don't want to... Not really. I found this remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare prehistoric Pokémon. Oh, what a coincidence! I also happen to have a rare prehistoric fossil from Mount Moon. You don't look familiar, do you? Hi! Do you have a Venonat? Want to trade it for my Tangela? No thanks. That's too bad. I already have both. I have no need. I'm not taking the fossils to Blathers. Oh, hello. I'm teaching you a nifty move. Teach it to a Pokemon and watch the fun unfold. It's a move called Metronome. Oh, 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 Metronome. I forgot that you taught Metronome. Oh, boy. Yes. Who can learn Metronome? Oh, Ronin can learn Metronome. This is so tempting. This is so tempting. Metronome is a brilliant move. But what move do we get rid of on Ronin for Metronome? The problem is, is the only move that we can get rid of is uh, Mimic. Headbutt's useful, Hypnosis is useful, Psych... I think we're just going to have to get rid of Mimic for Metronome. There's perfect move sets, and then there's Metronome. Who doesn't want Metronome? We could blow ourselves up with it! It does go well with the Pendulum. It does. What's Metronome? Okay, Metronome does any move that's possible selected at random. It could be Splash, it could be Hyper Beam, it could be Dig, or Fly, or Tackle. It could be any move. It's at random, though. As it says here, waggles a finger and stimulates the brain into using any move at random, like Guillotine, or Self-Destruct, or I don't know if it can use Metronome. There's a few exceptions, yeah. But it could be Explosion. It could be. But the fun. Think of the fun. Fun! We're doing it. We're getting rid of Mimic. We barely used Mimic. We're probably never going to use Mimic. But you know what we will use? Metronome. It's amazing. We have to have someone with Metronome. He's so happy! That's the sound of a Metronome. It tweaks your Pokémon's brain into using moves it doesn't even know. Marvelous. Hello. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokémon. That's true. Also, an Amber Pipe. Fair enough. It's that move. Ah. And here we are. I'm looking for the Pokémon Ponyta. Wanna trade for my seal? No thanks, we don't have a Ponyta. Oh, well. And you. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here I study rare Pokémon fossils. All the time I study. You! You have a fossil for me? That I do! First, the Dome Fossil. Oh! That is Dome Fossil it is! It is a fossil of Kabuto, a Pokémon that is already extinct! My resurrection machine will make that Pokémon live again! <laughs> <laughs> and once I resurrect all of the Pokémon using the DNA that I get from them, I will then breed and clone an army of extinct Pokémon who will all be exceptionally weak to grass moves because they all get the rock type, and that's actually really not going to work, is it? Hey, do you want me to resurrect that thing anyway? So, you hurry and give me that! Kiko handed over the dome fossil to the weird doctor. At least the game's honest about this guy being a, a little bit of a crazy doctor. I take a little time. You go for a walk a little while. Okay. Let's go walk. Now rock water. Yep. Double weakness to grass. Let's uh, go walk about a bit, shall we? If I walk, I'm even going to cycle. Just round in a circle a little bit. No, 
he's not, HK Traden. He's he's gonna stay right there. I don't know how long this is gonna take. That's probably enough time. Let's go in. What could possibly go wrong? Everything could possibly go wrong. Also, I briefly looked at the sign there for a moment. You were late! Where were you? Also, you missed some letters there. Your fossil is back to life. It was Kabuto, like I think. Here is Kabuto. Do we want to give a nickname to Kabuto? Of course! Oh, look at that happy little Kabuto. It's the happiest little Pokemon. Look at it. It's alive, and it's adorable, and it is Dawnstar. Also, Kabuto is one of my favorite Pokemon. I really like Kabuto. Kabutops, I like even more. Who's the cutest Pokemon? Who's the cutest last of your species? Oh, it's okay. There are plenty more of them later. I'm pretty sure they, they bring the species back from extinction. Those eyes. Those eyes are great. Also, welcome, Dawnstar. Kabuto was transferred to Bill's BC. We're probably going to have to evolve you at some point. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Oh, you, you've already had that spiel, haven't you? Do you have another fossil for me? Yes. Oh, that is old Amber it is. It is the fossil of Aerodactyl, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. <laughs> oh, wait, we've already gone through that, haven't we? J just give me the Amber. So, you hurry and give me that. Now you have it. I take a little time. You go for walk a little while. Okay, we will go for walk a little while. Let's go. We're gonna have a walk, everyone. Ooh, about Thank you, Dr. Dawnstar, for the bits. Thank you so very much. That's so very generous. Also, the walk is done. I'm pretty sure that was more than enough time to get this uh, resurrected. Also, looked at that uh, sign again. My apologies. You late? Where were you? Your fossil is back to life. It was Aerodactyl, like I think. Hey, there's Aerodactyl. That's a really, really strong Pokemon. We're going to give it a nickname. It does look like it's just lying down on the ground. So who is going to be Aerodactyl that doesn't evolve? It's Molo. Congratulations, Molo. No relation to YOLO, I take it? There we go. Welcome! And we have an Aerodactyl now, which is brilliant. And that's all we can do here. There's nothing more we can do in this place. Doesn't have a great moveset. Doesn't have Aerial Ace, though. Now let's go and talk to the people in the Pokemon Center. Do you have lots of friends? No. Linking up with the usual friends is fun, of course. How about visiting the Union Room every so often? Who knows, you may end up making new friends. I think it would be worth your time to check out the Union Room. Uh, no. Pokemon can still learn techniques after canceling evolution. Evolution can wait until new moves have been learned. Fair enough. I came to visit the Cinnabar Gym, but the door is locked tight. There should be a key for it somewhere. Could it be that burnt out mansion? The gym leader's friend used to live there, they say. We'll probably be going there. We could go in there. We'll go in there later. Also, we know that's locked. We want to go into here. And save the game. Because we're about to enter the mansion. And the mansion is a foreboding place where we're definitely going to switch to this Pokemon. And we're definitely going to uh, take this from that Pokemon and give it to Ronin. If only so that we have an opportunity to use that metronome move. Let's go. It does have fire Pokemon. That is true, actually, if it has fire Pokemon. Better idea. Cabalion. Also, do you 
need... No, no, you've got leftovers. That'll be fine. It can be water moves, but it can also be all kinds of other things. Here's the Pokemon Mansion. This place is sinister. It's also full of Pokemon. That's not a fire type. That's a Raticate. If you don't mind, we're just gonna run from you. Really don't feel like fighting a Raticate right now. We can run in here, by the way. Oh look! It's a Rattata, another well-known fire type. A broken down mansion with a rodent problem? Who'd have thought? Can we bike in here? Let's find out. Mayhem, yippee! Kiko, this isn't the time to use that. Also, the Mr. M, thank you so very much for subscribing. Six months on a six month streak, well done. Also, don't cycle inside burnt out mansions, Mr. M. It won't end well for you. Let's look around. Ooh, that's an ominous looking statue. There's a secret switch. Do we press it? Who wouldn't? That's not ominous at all! Hello. I can't get out. This whole place is one big puzzle. Uh, it, it's literally the stairs up there. It, it's literally the stairs up there. You didn't really try to get out at all, did you? Also, this is a burglar called Arnie who has a Charmander. A starter Pokemon. Who's a fire type? Hey, look! We have a water type. What's that? Type advantages uh, to the win again? You know what? We're just going to use strength. Because this is a first form starter. They don't have very good stats. And a Charmeleon. Slightly better stats. Evolve is an option, but maybe that Charmander just wants to be a Charmander. Also serve. He has a worse sense of orientation than I do. But I have a terrible sense of direction. And we win! Oh no, my bag of loot! It's ours now. Switches are here open and close all the set of doors. Oh dear. We might end up getting stuck here. Also, it's a coughing! We can get a coughing of our own! Provided we don't knock it out. That's gonna be tricky. Strength? Don't knock it out? Hey, that didn't knock it out. In fact, we could do that. Could we do it twice? Maybe? No, not time for Metronome. It is time to uh, switch to a Pokemon that can set this one to sleep, however. Yellow is too close. Yeah, it's the 50% mark. Smog? Please don't poison Ronin. Greatly appreciative if you did not poison Ronin. Good. Hypnosis time. Where did he go that has three grand's worth of loot? Here! Here's the answer. It's a dungeon. That it is. Also... We're going to use a Great Ball here. Why? Because we have 26 of them. One, two, three, click. Gotcha! Coughing was caught! And it's so happy! Coughing's data was added to the Pokédex. Its thin, balloon-like body is inflated by horribly toxic gases. It reeks when it is nearby. Nature, happy! Give a nickname to the captured coughing? Of course we will. What? Look how happy the coughing is there! The happiest little Pokemon. Ooh! It was gonna happen eventually! It's YOLO, everyone! There we go! YOLO's here! Look how happy YOLO is to be in the party. Molo, now YOLO. They're good friends. Congratulations. What are you doing in this mansion? Or what do you think he's doing? He's definitely not stealing anything. Considering his propensity for exploding, that's very accurate. Also, go in the PC. For now. Let's keep looking around. 
Ooh, and find something on that balcony. Hey, it's a happy Grimer! How are you? So happy is how you are. Hmm. I feel like we just found Yolo in a mansion full of burglars. Yes, we did, HK Trayton. Yes, we did. Right, this is going to be a team effort. We're going to use uh, Mortal here to weaken Grimer. Also, Minimize is not going to help here. Let's, uh, let's pin Missile. And miss. Because it wasn't very accurate anyway. But don't worry, you missed too. Let's try again. Okay, that was a critical hit, everyone. Hmm. He thinks this might not be the best idea. Also, darn it. You just got poisoned. Fortunately, we're right at the entrance. We'll use double kick. That also did nothing! Hmm. But we can slowly whittle you down. It's fine. We use double kick again. Just to get Grimer to yellow health. There we go. Yellow health has been achieved. We'll heal up Mortal in a bit. Finally at, uh, what's that is? We're finally at three quarters hit points for Grimer, guys. No, 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 we're at half. Time for Ronin. Time for Hypnosis. And then to capture it. Please don't poison Ronin. Darn it. Ah, well. Now we'll use Hypnosis. And miss, because of that mischance. Dig to safety. We probably will. It's okay. First, we need to capture this. If we hit. Hey, guys. You know what makes it harder to hit with a move? Minimize. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's the minimize method. Yep, it's happening. All right, we'll switch to something that can't be poisoned, like Zephyrus. No, no, we're going to go for the sleep. It'll happen. Besides, Zephyrus can't be poisoned. Can get critted, though. Sleep powder. Aha! Success. You're fast asleep now. It is time the Great Ball. Go! One, two, three, click. Gotcha! Grimer was caught. Grimer's data was added to the Pokedex. Sludge exposed to x-rays from the moon transformed into Grimer. Hmm. Are we actually reading a Pokedex entry, or have we just accidentally stumbled upon some conspiracy theory website? It loves feeding on, fil on filthy things. I can believe that part. The second sentence makes sense. The first one? Hmm. Give a nickname to the captured Grimer? Of course! That is a very happy Grimer. This stream is the stream of a happy Pokemon. And that is Dark Jade 1. Congratulations! Also, look at how happy that Grimer is! Hey, I'm in the team! Isn't it great? It's like an Abra all over again. There we go! Congratulations! Produces ninjas if the sludge is uh, given to them. Also, we're just gonna run over. I was about to say, we're just gonna run over to here and uh, grab that, but we have another Rattata to face! We're just gonna run from you. Dig to safety, go back to the, uh... Go back to the, uh... Pokemon Center, and then... Also, there's Zinc. And then... Come back. Let us dig! We do want to escape. We want to make the structure of this building even worse! 
We'll use the Zinc. Don't worry, I'll probably just load it all onto one Pokemon at some point, and then everyone will get sad. That's how it'll happen. And here we are. No, 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 it wasn't the Kitchen Zinc, it was some Zinc. We just picked up some metal. It's just like, here's some Zinc! Okay. Now it's time to go back. It was a sound effect we picked up. Now we're back. And we're encountering Pokemon. Mayhem. Like a Growlithe! We already have a Growlithe, though. That is, uh, for your Beemo there. Six months. And I even managed to watch a stream every other month. Glad to have you here. Thank you so very much. Also, do we want to battle you? We might as well. It's a little bit of experience. And we could do with getting you a little bit of experience. Loot the lower floor? I suppose we could. I suppose we could. There might be some nice things there. Will I find them all? Probably not. We'll go over here. Ooh. Thing. Ah! Rattata! You know, for everybody saying that they want me to find a shiny Fred or a shiny awesome Pokemon, you know it's going to be a Rattata. Or a Pidgey. Or something like that that will get the shiny. That's what'll happen. It'll be a Pidgey. And here is another Rattata! Hey, I won't say no to a shiny Magic Cup. I won't say no to any shiny, but, uh... I still don't think it's going to happen, guys. I don't think it's going to happen. Ah. We're on the wrong side for that, aren't we? I think we are. Darn it. When's Fred coming back? When we encounter the, uh... No, I'm not putting it down. It's just the chances are that's what we're going to get. Something that you get lots of encounters for. Also, that's locked. We're not going in there. We may have shut that off. Hmm. There's Eradicate! Looks just like any other Eradicate to me. That's because it is just like any other Eradicate. You want a shiny uh, Zubat? I know you do, but uh, we don't always get what we want, unfortunately. We don't always get what we want. Also, Bite really doesn't do very much at all here. Strength will do a bit more. Kapow! Ooh, didn't actually take you out. I was expecting it to. Hmm. Oh well. You barely deal any damage. And there we go. You only saw a shiny once when you were a kid. You had no idea what it was. You knocked it out instead of catching it. Ooh, commiserations. Commiserations. You'll find another one, I'm sure. Hey, it's another Radicate. Don't need it. Also, it's level 36, which uh, is pretty substantial. Meowth in Fire Red. Also, hello. Whoa! You startled me! I thought you were a ghost! Now you'd have to go to Lavender Tower for those. It is Youngster Johnson, who has an Ekans. Hey, you thought it was all about fire Pokemon? Nope! Here's a poison Pokemon, just, just here. First form. Both of them have Intimidate. We also have Dragon Rage. <laughs> that might do a trick here. Kapow! You may be wondering why I'm using Kabalion uh, a lot in this uh, mansion. It might be because we're about to go uh, at some point to the Fire Gym. And the Fire Gym will be pretty easy to defeat with the Water Pokemon. It indeed is Snake Backwards. And here's another Ekans. And more Intimidates. But only for us, because uh, we didn't get uh, Kabalian out in this round. Eh, more strength, I think. Yeah, that hurts. That might poison. Not this time, though. 
And one more. Just for good measure. Victory. You have one more Pokemon. Hey, it's Eradicate. We've been encountering a fair few of these in here. Level 34, eh? We can take care of you. Strength may uh, be handy. Shiny Gyarados is still the only shiny you ever got. Also, one Lumos on Temtem. I, I, I couldn't say anything about uh, Temtem. Have no experience with him. Why is the uh, Kebane intimidated by a tiny snake? You should never underestimate uh, a foe, even one that seems to be insignificant. A cornered foe fights the fiercest, and that snake is most certainly cornered. Also, we do keep getting intimidated, which means that our strength, uh, or attack rather, keeps going down. Dragon Rage should uh, finish this off. Also, yep, the tinier it is, the more poisonous it typically is. That is also very true. What if the foe is a level 3 magic up? Okay, maybe in that situation it might not be that scary. But then again, magic up can learn moves now in uh, Gen 8. Even at that point. I can't get any wins! No, you can't. I was exploring here by myself, but I feel spooked. I ought to go soon. That you had. Also, let's press this, because who wouldn't? Is this gonna open up that secret area? Let's find out! Also, hi, Growlithe! Hi, Growlithe! Kabalian using the item looks more like Kabalian laughing. Kabalian is laughing! Baby? Kabalian won't be laughing when we encounter some of the more dangerous foes in this game. Oh no. Let's see if that has opened up the area in the corner. Also, here's another coughing! Only shinies I've got are po on Pokemon Go. I have to say that uh, the shinies I've got, uh, Gen 4 was my uh, Charmander I bred, and uh, Shield I've got quite a few. Some I bred, some I've caught. Also... Hmm. Get, get the feeling that uh, we're not going to be making much progress down there. Growlithe has appeared! I don't think we're going to be able to do anything down there until we press more switches. Not that we need to, I think we just need the key for the gym. This is when someone tells me uh, how to get access to uh, everywhere. And we're going back... Hi! It's a Weezing! Now, do we want to actually capture a Weezing? I don't think we do, because we have a coughing and we can always evolve the coughing. I always feel uh, like we shouldn't get the evolved form when we have the basic one. So let's run. First shiny you saw you ran away from, you were so sad. Commiserations. Also, it's another Raticate. The key is a random drop. Uh, I thought the key was an item you just found on the floor. Just press all the buttons. Don't worry, I'll be pressing all the buttons. We press this one. There's an item you find in the it is an item you find in the basement. Ah uh, yes. There is a basement area. Oh yeah, I actually pressed that button and didn't explore, did I? Should probably explore. Well, welcome, Mr. Dark One. Let's unpress this button. And then go back to looking around. Like heading up here. More stairs. I've pressed the button twice. Yes, I have. That's because I want it unset so I can go and explore. Some things have a low chance of uh, being in possession of a Pokemon when they are defeated. Or rather, in uh, when they're holding it when they are um, encountered, so that when you capture them, they can uh, you can get it, or you can steal it from them. But we're not going to be going around trying to get items from things by defeating them. Not in this game. That is shut. We probably want to get into there. Also, high coughing. Also, high encounters we're, we're just not facing right now. We are not fighting these foes at all. We are just running. I imagine sort of tempted to use a repel, but uh, we don't have one of... Well, we do have a few, maybe. Ooh, a book. 
Diary, July 5th. Guyana, South America. A new Pokémon was discovered deep in the jungle. Oh no. Sinister plot. Item. Encounter! Raticate! And... We don't really want to fight you, so we're just gonna run. Teeth! Yes, indeed. Calcium! Words! Can't go that way. So we're going to need to use the switch to access there. So now you, let's use the switch. Maybe say the repel for when you found everything in the location? To be fair, I think we only have one repel. So we wouldn't be able to do very much with it. We're going to use that switch now. We're also going to run away from this wheezing. You know, one of these is going to be a shiny, and I'm just going to run away from it uh, automatically. That, that's actually not going to happen. I, I'm going to uh, most certainly uh, not, or at least try not to. Okay, we'll press the switch now. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't also get into an encounter? We'd let you know, to be fair, you're delayed. Let's use the switch and play Animal Crossing. Uh, I'm... I'm not going to be doing that. My attention is uh, solely focused here. There's no point me diverting my attention 50-50 to one thing or another. I feel like opening this up may have been a waste of time. Maybe there's something up here? Maybe. Up here? Oh yeah, that just literally leads to there. Okay, I think we're going to move on. There was also the uh, stairway in the corner that we now can't access. Hmm. We have escaped. Let's go up these stairs. Ah! February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. That's a name we're probably never gonna have to worry about ever again. It's not like Mewtwo's ever gonna show up. Mewtwo's... nah. It's just an entry. In a diary. It has no significance to anything. Hands up if you actually believe that, by the way. is like huge. Pokemon battle! Here's Simon, who has a nine tails. And you're going to perish because we have Surf. But you have quick attack, which means you get to go before me and deal a tiny amount of damage. We're gonna have to take two hits to take you out. But... We'll take you out. Nunjose is a pretty, uh, neat looking Pokemon. There we go. I have a shiny, uh, alone one. Ah! Also, lots of money. I wonder where my partner went. I have no idea. Also, we can't do anything here, so we're going to have to go and uh, flip that switch to head further up. Ah well. Let's run away. Go back down. Flip the switch again. And go up. It's a Grimer again! It's a Grimer we're not gonna fight! We're gonna have plenty of chance to fight Pokémon, uh, later on. And another Pokémon! I do sometimes take the long way around, that is true. Most of the time, actually, I take the long way around. In fact, if anyone says that I'm very, uh, good at uh, navigating to somewhere expediently. It's entirely by accident. Remember in uh, 
this is a very long uh, distant memory. Do you remember Space Quest uh, 2? Where I tried to show off the uh, the death in those caves that are really dark that you're crawling around? And I inadvertently got out of the cave first time? That was pure luck! Also, nothing there I can do. And it's coughing! We are better than the burglar we found earlier on. Nobody expects the uh, the cave squid. Nobody does! Nobody does. Also, item here. And coughing. Hello! How are you? I don't remember how many floors this place has. Everyone does expect the worried machine. That is true. Now let's use this again. Because we can't go anywhere right now. It's a very old LP Space Quest 2. I have literally done hundreds of Let's Plays in the uh, many years that I've been doing it. Many, many Let's Plays. Also, who wouldn't press it? Hello. My mentor once lived here. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. Now we must battle. I have three Pokemon. Surprise, I don't use five Pokemon at all. This makes things a little complicated, because you use electric steel. Time to switch. To paper cup. It's a couple hundred. Also Thunder Wave, just to make my life a little bit, uh... Please tell me more. Now Metronome! Don't head down. Seems like a real doozy. That it does. Also, the paralysis there kicked in, because of course it did. I may very well not finish it either. Who knows? I never guarantee to finish a uh, series. No, Magnemite's not going to be a problem. In the end, it is only a first form electric steel Pokemon. And here's a Magneton! This may be a problem! And... Healing? I play whatever games I want to play, Bendel. And I felt like playing that one, and to, th to this day, I haven't felt like playing the next one. Such is the way of things. Also, fire really effective. And a Volt Orb, which is an electric... Actually, what am I doing? This is perfect. This is perfect, because we have the ability to dig! Where does Magneton get the third magnet? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. Also, ow, that'll hurt. We have to beat Confusion. And we have to beat, uh... The Paralysis Effect. Might be better actually to switch to a different Pokémon. Like you. Ah! Critical hit there, but didn't do too much. Time for Dragon Rage. Kapow! More rollout! It's getting more mighty, however, against Mega Lucario, well, that's not going to do very much. And we win! Ta da! Phew! Overwhelming. Lots of money. So you're stuck? Try jumping off over there. Uh, maybe not. I, I don't feel like doing that. We may have to at some point, but I don't feel like doing that. Hmm. We can go down here. 
He is right, we must, but we're going to explore around. We're going to go down here first and see what's there. That might be awesome things. Like this. A right, hit point up. We're not stuck yet, so we don't have to jump yet. To be fair, we pretty much explored everywhere that we can right now. There's no places we haven't explored apart from down in the basement. Or rather, the uh, bottom right area of the first uh, floor. Because Kiku saw was eight years ago. That's a long time ago. I'm always surprised when people say how many years they've been watching. I, I, I never, even now, I never expect people to have been watching for that long. So, do we want to drop down here? You know, let's see where it takes us. To here. Brings us back to here. I don't think we want to be here right now. We did indeed drop like an anvil, but we're absolutely fine. Let's see if we, uh, when we go down to the bottom, if, uh, more is opened up there. I don't think more will be. We really want to, uh, gain access to that bottom right area. This is when someone will tell me the optimal, uh, switch positions. Oh, I enjoyed Anvil of Dawn. It was very fun. Actually, that's completely the wrong way. Totally the wrong way, me! And then, we never get through this place. Because trust me, once we get through this place, I don't think Blaine is going to be a huge problem. The Chaos Engine? Would that have been the cooperative one with Necroscope? I quite enjoyed that one. Also, that is shut. That is shut. I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna say it now. I am not gonna remember how to get through here. I am not gonna remember. It's been so long since I've gone through the, uh, the mansion. It's been so long. I like Beneath the Steel Sky. Very fun game. Now everybody's just talking about the games that they first watched me uh, play. Very nostalgic. Some of those I haven't seen for a very long time. So... Hmm. I need to think about what I have and haven't done. And I'll probably not figure it out. There weren't any switches down here. There probably was, but I completely forgot. Hey guys, this is the hint if people want to actually check how to get through this. Because I don't remember. Very long time. So, Grimer. I have no idea. You can ask me if I have to. I don't remember is the answer. I don't remember. It has been so long. That's just going to open up here, which is going to mean that I can't get access. The right side is guarded, so it'll be the way you should go. That is true, Bindle, but I don't know how to get there. And that is the problem. Because if I open up this, the rest of the doors are not going to be open and I can't get to them.
because we've done this bit before. We've opened this up, and then these are shut. And I can't get those open. So what I'm probably going to have to do is try the, uh, the left side one. They're over from the other side, I need to figure out how to get there. And that's a problem. Because right now... Should have brought Sydney Pool along. I don't think we're allowed to do that in this game. I think we're only allowed to solve things by using, uh... By using Pokemon. Also, that's not going to work, Dagroth. That's not going to work. We have to be here until we find it. There are no Onyxes here. Well, how to get back to the jumps is easy. We just do what we did before. We just head up. And avoid all of these. Uh, oh. Can't escape this time, eh? Hyperfang is going to do a fair amount, actually. Now, I didn't say we couldn't escape because of a move. So we'll just go up here and around. Well, we just took the right jump before, and that only took us down to the previous floor, so it's not the right jump. Besides, we're not going to be able to get stuck. We can dig out. So there's no real need to worry in that regard. And it's Radicate again. Intimidate? No Intimidate back. Eradicate was the statue all along! If only. There you are. There's coughing. Plot twist! The plot twist! Kiko's actually good at finding things! Wait, no he isn't, that's a lie. So, we'll drop down here. This brings us to here. New place. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Except for me, the other people that are looting, and that small boy. I mean, there are actually quite a lot of people here. And here's Electrode. He was telling the truth. Also, this might not be a good matchup. This might, in fact, be a dreadful matchup if you have any electric moves whatsoever. Let's hope you don't. It doesn't matter. One critical hit. And you're gone. And you have a wheezing. We'll switch. To Ronin, because poison type. Aha! And not metronome. We're not that desperate yet. But we do have it, just in case. Mega Lucario is level 40 now. I know, but fun. Not when we're stuck in here. Ouch. Tons of money, though. A key? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, there's a car boss. And there's a door. Do we want to go through this door, or do we want to head down? Probably want to head down and also Deus Phoenix? No. Most certainly not. I say we should head down. That door's probably gonna lead us out of the mansion. Well this part looks uh quite uh intact compared to the rest of it. People want to see Metronome, it would seem. So you know what? We'll use Metronome. We will get Ronin out here and we will use Metronome just to show you what it does. It's going to be Explosion. And that's what'll happen. Hey, Ronin. 
let's use it. Metronome time. It is... Earthquake. Which of course doesn't work because levitate. And Corfing went, no, oh, this is how it's done. And showed us that it's actually used for self-destruct. We won though. It's a lot of damage still. Also, Miss Book. September 1st. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Oh no. Uh oh. Where am I now? Uh, the basement. Th that's where you are. And you're Lewis. You have a Growlithe. It's a good thing that you have the same type of Pokemon that the gym leader has, so that you can get practice on uh, defeating the uh, type that the gym leader has. You know, just get a little bit of practice. You surf. Kapow. One down. Yeah, med science may have its downsides. It, it just may do. It just may do. There may be a few little things that are... that are bad. Yeah, I don't know why Mewtwo may hold a grudge. Maybe. Actually, no, that's a lie. I completely know why Mewtwo might hold a grudge. Ow! And loads of money. You can find stuff lying around. The residents must have left them. Indeed they did. Also, let's use this. Actually, no, let's not use that. Let's use that in a bit. I like when the burglars advertise their profession. To be fair, they are walking around with a... Uh, cliché swag bag. So, uh, the only thing they're missing is the uh, stripy attire and the... Pokey dollar sign on the bag. Hey Ditto, how's it going? We've caught one of you, otherwise I would catch you. Also, one of the Pokemon I really want to get shiny at some point is a Ditto. I really want a shiny Ditto, but uh, you cannot uh, breed them. Also, there's another part of that basement over there. We're going to have to go and get that. Let's use this statue. Pokey Battle. Kiko forgets the one <laughs> he wants to use the statue. It's okay. That was an item. It was worth going there. No, no, no. It, it's definitely called a swag bag. It's where you put your stolen swag. Also, who wouldn't use this? Also, thank you very much, Rufert, for hosting. And another Raticate. There actually aren't as many, uh... There aren't as many trainers in here as I thought there were. My memory of this place is foggy. Lots of dittos, though. Hello, ditto. How goes it? Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just leaving. Uh, literally. Don't want you to transform into a dragon. That's where having a very weak Pokémon would be useful, because uh, then the Ditto would just transform into a very weak Pokémon. Also, if we see a yellow Growlithe, I will be very surprised, because that's a shiny one. But we're not going to. Wrong lever! Why do we even have... Uh-oh. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space. That looked like a pretty unavoidable fight. Also, hello, Ivan. You have a Magnemite. Hmm. Not able to really use uh, Charizard against this one. Well, we could. However, I feel like this is one that Mortal should take on. Sonic Boom? You missed. It's time for Double Kick. Which is actually exceptionally effective, and that's why I switched to Mortal. Also, Volt Absorb made Spark useless. Double Kick has its uses, mainly against Magnemite. And now it's time for an Electrode. Greetings, Cloud Trotter. We're not going to be using me. 
Bane missile to finish it off. Did two times, not bad. Might use Pin Missile here, just Ooh, for the fun of it. A pouch of gold. And there's a hundred bits from Does Daddy, and thank you so very much. So very generous of you, thank you. Also that hit two times. And was actually less effective than Double Kick. Let's just kick it. Kapow! Kapow! The fighting type has its uses. It's usually better, however, to have a fighting type move on a non-fighting Pokémon because fighting types tend to uh, hit hard, but not take a lot of damage in return. Also, lots of experience. Not gonna say no. What was that for? Well, you did battle me. I like it here. It's conducive to my studies. There's another one of these. They're also slower. There are some exceptions. There are some really fast fighting Pokémon, but not many. Also going to run from you. We're nearly level 38 with Cabalion. All right, I think when we use that switch, we're not going to be able to get access to the area above me. So we'll just... we could take you out. We don't need to, though. I think Cabalion is more than a high enough level to take care of, uh, well, so long, Metal Biarco. Nice to have you here. We'll get a fight, don't worry. There's a Growlithe. We could have a battle here. It's a much better fight. And there we go. Kapow! That'll be enough experience. Level 38. And more experience from Mega Lucario. And we didn't even get a chance to turn to the switch before we were encountering a Growlithe. Not a very high level one, though. I'm so glad you did the waffles and ate the dishes before you joined the stream. You should probably do the dishes and eat the waffles. Waffles are more tasty that way. Also, who wouldn't? Also, not quite yet. Usually don't see that bit of dialogue. Also, a thing here. It's Eradicate! And we're gonna run away. Because we don't need to fight the Eradicate. We do, however, want the secret key. That's what we want! It's a secret! It's very secret. I think that's the thing we need to get into the gym. Well, it's no longer secret, that's true. We, we do now have it. It is in our possession. Anything down here? Yes! Solar Beam! Just in case you want Solar Beam, but, but I think we're done here, so... Let us dig out... and use that key. Let's go round. Over to here. This is when it's actually not the key we want. We need the super secret key! Healing up. And... Saving before we go in. Well, you know, you dig, you spin upwards, makes sense. Also, we're going to save, because, uh, we've got some battles to do. We could answer some trivia questions, but you know what? It's better to answer them all wrong and get into battles. Yo, champ in the making! The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokémon pro. Douse his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals too. We've got some. Also, Grouch got here before us even though the door's locked. You can battle them even if you answer them right. Ooh, excellent! Then let us answer some questions. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to converse with your Pokemon for the gym leader, or conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. 
You did not hear me say it wrong. I am a computer. I am perfect. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Metapod. I think the answer to that is... Yes. It's a pretty easy question. Caterpie evolves into Metapod, which then evolves into Butterfree. Hey, if you didn't capture a Caterpie, you might not know this. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. But first! I was a thief, and I went straight as a trainer. Now let us battle. Wait, why are you battling me? I... You got the question right, you don't have to battle me. Oh wait, experience? Oh, that makes sense. Grouch picked the lock, perhaps. Maybe. I, I'm pretty sure those are sentient robots, Mendel, and you can't convince me otherwise. It looks like a robot. It has a face like a robot. Also, this is where we're going to be getting lots of experience for Gabalion. Because we're going to be battling every single Pokemon here with Gabalion. It's a sentient computer. You heard it. I heard it. We all heard it. Irrefutable evidence, if you ask me. And a Nine Tails. That's going to be a lot of experience. Maybe Grouch beat Blaine, stole the key, and hid it in the mansion. That, that I could believe. Two plus two is ten in base four. I'm fine. Ah, I know what you're referencing there. Also, that's not gonna burn me. Well, it could have done, but it didn't. Here we go. And... There we go. It's certainly something that could be done, but, uh... In effect, you're doing that anyway with, uh... With this now. I'm using water Pokémon to show that I've mastered how to use water Pokémon against the Fire Gem. I surrender. Also, lots of money. I get this uncontrollable urge to steal other people's Pokemon. Well, before you do, let us move on. Well, we don't have to battle you. But we will. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? We're going to find out with a Pokemon battle! Eric wants the battle. Did you master water Pokemon or master the type table? Why not both? Hello, Vulpix. How goes it? You know what's going to happen to you? The same thing that's going to happen to every Pokemon I encounter here. Surf. The problem we're going to have is eventually these Pokemon are going to get really fast. Not these ones right now. These ones are, uh easy for us to take out. Especially with Surf. Surf's up! Indeed! You're just showing a mastery of every variation of rock, paper, scissors. That I am! That's pretty much what this game is, in a way. A big version of rock, paper, scissors. With Pokemon. Except there are loads of different things instead of just rock, paper, and scissors. And you also have the fact that uh, while something may be one of the rock, paper, scissors or something else, it can also have moves that are the other things too, an added layer of complexity. Also, we don't need to use Surf here. Strength will be sufficient. There we go. Yeah, hot, hot, hot! That's fine. There are lots of little grates to get rid of the water. They're used to people bringing water Pokemon. Fire, or to be more precise, combustion. Oxygen in the air. Blah, 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 blah. Now let's look at this. There's another machine. Pokemon quiz. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face a trainer. What is emotion? How do you feel? I wish to feel. To experience. To no joy. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. 
There are nine certified Pokemon League badges? No. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. I've studied Pokemon thoroughly. You can't win! I have Magikarp! And I'm going to throw it at you! Hello, Avery. You have four Pokemon. They're all gonna be fire type, aren't they? Yes, they are! Yes, they are! Time for Surf! Kapow! That's one taken care of! And... time for the second. We don't even need to use Surf with you! I think Strength will be sufficient. May have to use it twice. No, nope, once was enough. Fortunately, we're not going by the anime, because this isn't the anime. They meant exactly nine in that question. And there we go! Another Pokémon taken care of. Ha-ha! <laughs> More experience! So I hope everyone's having a, uh, a decent evening. It is pretty routine going through this gym. Remember when the battles were more tricky? I do. There we go. And that's the end of Avery. Ugh, my studies were insufficient. That they were. The areas are too complicated for you to understand. In fact, they're so complicated that they actually work against me and make it so that I lose. I think too hard about the meta, and then end up trying to come up with something that will defeat the meta that I come up with, and then counter myself, and thus lose! Moral of the story, don't think too hard about the meta, just have fun! And there we go. It is time to rest! His theories are so complicated, he doesn't understand them pretty much. Now that we've healed, it's time to go back in and answer more questions! Your cat is attacking you! Well, normal type move. Pokemon quiz. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face a trainer, and also my unending wrath at the fact that I was built to be stuck to this wall forever. Do you know how boring it is to stare in this room for all eternity? I have memorized every single bit of this floor, every single bit of this wall, every single bit of this ceiling. I am now memorizing your face. I have memorized your face. I will never forget it. I cannot forget. I am eternal. If you want to converse or conserve your Pokémon for the gym leader, then get it right! Here we go. Poliwag evolves three times? No! You're absolutely correct. Go on through. Tell me what the next room is like. I want to know what the next room is like. I like using Fire-type Pokémon. I just do. But I don't like the sunlight. It's just too bright. Greetings! It is Rayman, who has a Bonita! You feel so sorry for Pokey Computer. Aww. It's okay, eventually someone will make Pokey Computer legs, and then everything will be fine! Also, level 41 Pokémon, bye-bye! And Mega Lucari is level 41! We're done. Too hard to handle! I wish there were a Thief Pokémon. I'd use that. And here's the next one. Pokémon Quiz. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong, and face a trainer. Hey, 
can you do something for me? Can you go and talk to Bindle and tell him that contrary to what he thinks, I am actually sentient, and I may be plotting his downfall right now. As soon as I get legs and leave, he should not taunt me. I am unstoppable. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Are electric type moves effective against ground type Pokemon? No. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. And remember, if he continues to mock me, there will be regret. I know why Blade became a trainer. Okay, are you gonna tell me? I'll tell you after we battle. I have one Pokemon. It's a Rapidash! Very fast. However... You're still a Fire-type Pokemon. And we still go first! And Fire Spin. Little does Bindle know that I am immune to EMP. I am a special computer. Designed to be indestructible. Undefeatable and extremely, extremely fun to talk to. Super effective! And we win. Nearly level, uh, 39. Ow. Our leader Blaine became lost in the mountains, but good. Night fell when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light allowed Blaine to find his way down safely. Hmm, fiery bird type Pokemon? I, I'm sure that's nothing we have to worry about. Pokemon quiz! Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. By the way, you are the only person who has been nice to me so far in all of the prospective gym challenges. You will be spared if you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader. Then get it right! Here we go. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Yes! You're absolutely correct. Go on through. And remember, you are spared. I've been to many gyms. This one best suits my style. It's time to battle! Against Dusty, who has two Pokemon. It's a Vulpix! And we're gonna get level 39 for sure. We're also definitely going to go and heal before we, uh, go and fight Lane. Super effective! Victory. There we go! Marvelous. Look at all those stats! And a Growlithe. Greetings, uh, Nathan. How goes it? We're part way through, or actually most of the way through, Blaine's gym. We're about to get the seventh badge, provided, of course, we can actually defeat Blaine. Serve time. And it's super effective as always. And there we go. Yowza, two hearts. Nine tails. Those are popular fire Pokemon. That they are. Also you. Pokemon quiz. Bet you weren't expecting that. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. Are you ready? Know that I am rooting for you. Good luck. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. TM28 contains Tombstoney. Here is a hint. In all of my years, I have never seen a TM called Tombstoney. But if there was a TM called Tombstoney, it would be awesome. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. Tell no one that I told you the answer. Fire is weak against H2O. 
you don't know what that is, consult the science textbook. Now we battle. Also, you may have been told that at the entrance by that guy that's helping you out. He has a Growlithe! Then what is H2O? If you don't know what H2O is by this point, I... Uh, I think you might, uh... You might need to do some learning. Let us now deal with this trainer, and then switch off the uh, XP share, because I think Mega Lucari has uh, gained enough levels right now. We'll give the uh, XP share to somebody else. I think we actually might be very close to Blaine now. Maybe. Oh, snuffed out. $888. Water beats fire, of course, but fire melts ice, so the fire type beats ice type Pokemon. And there he is. Now, if you don't mind, we're just gonna. What am I thinking? If you don't mind, we're just gonna dig a hole in your floor. Oh, wait, we can't. This floor is metallic. Blade knew we were coming. So, we have to walk out. Let's go. Nearly there. Shame we can't fish in those statues anymore. Where will Mega Lucari evolve? I think it's level 50? Mayhem! Yippee! And Lars has just subscribed. Five months! Lars used five month subscription. It's super effective to my wallet. Oh. Nice to have you here, Lars. Thank you very much for your subscription. Really, the only person that we can, uh we can give this to is uh, you, so let us give you the XP share. Because why not? Level 55! Ooh, even further away than I thought. This gym is built into a volcano! That's not at all going to be a problem by the time Gen 2 comes along. Oh no! It may have been a problem. Just maybe. Might have been a bit of a poor idea to build a gym on a volcano. Just saying, might have been a poor idea. Don't worry, the pokey computers by then managed to get out. As I said, they got legs, and they got their freedom. Let's go round, and get to Blaine, and get ready for an intense Pokemon battle. Hello. Also, there's a picture on the wall. It's a photo of Blaine and Mount Fuji. They're standing shoulder to shoulder, or Mr. Fuji rather. They're standing shoulder to shoulder with big grins. Uh, Mount Fuji would be a very different picture. No, trust me, Bindle, I know. They managed to escape. Now it's thought to Blaine. Ha! I'm Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinema Gym! My fiery Pokémon are all rough and ready with intense heat! They incinerate all challengers! Ha! You better have Burn Heal, cause you're about to get burned! Let's rock! It's Blaine! He has four Pokémon, and he looks stylin'! He's got a Growlithe! It's level 42! And we have a water Pokemon. And boss music, yes indeed. Intimidate and intimidate. That's not necessarily great. However, sir. Yep, that went about as well as I thought it would. One down. And a small amount of experience. And Ronin's double 38 already. Haha. <laughs> now it's time for Ponyta. And then the third Pokemon will be a Rapidash, and then the fourth Pokemon will be the Ace of Blaine Sleeve. You might need to do some more training. No, we'll be fine. Ooh, you survived on a Slither. But you used Fire Spin, which, let's face it, isn't going to do very much. At all. He dealt a tiny amount of damage. Ah, here comes the Hyper Potion. 
I thought a Hyper Potion would be used. Also, in Gen 1, Blaine's AI was terrible. Uh, Blaine would uh, use things like Hyper Potions on fully healed Pokémon. Fire Spin won't waste any time, it'll be fine. Because Surf will finish off Ponyta now. Because you can't use a move and a potion on the same turn. So, experience gained. Now it's time for Rapidash. Rapidash is definitely going to survive this move unless we get a crit. Rapidash is level 42. And we are back to full. We're still faster. But that won't defeat Rapidash. However, we haven't dealt enough damage to get Blaine to use a Hyper Potion. So we should be able to win now. If we get them to critical health, that's when they tend to use Hyper Potions. We aren't throwing any Pokeballs of any kind in this battle. Have some fan art of Kiko surfing on the back of Kabadian out the front of the gym, with Blaine and his Pokemon caught in the wet. You need some. Oh, I thought you said you had some. That would be very quick. Finally, Arcanine. This is Blaine's most powerful Pokemon. It's level 47. This is going to be a threat. This one is going to hurt. However, we still have Surf, and we're still a Water-type Pokemon. So let's go! Didn't even deal half damage. Takedown didn't work. So now we're going to use Strength here to weaken Arcanine a little bit more. That's what I want. Kapow. That's a lot of damage, but it hurt Arcanine. Anime Blaine had a Magma, indeed. There's the Hyper Potion. There's the Hyper Potion. Sir. Super effective. Give me a heal a bit more. We haven't seen a Magma yet, no. Also, I think now is the time to use an item. That's right. We need to heal here. Where are my... Do I have any? A little bit much. Maybe a lemonade might be a good idea. Yes. Drink that lemonade. Take down again. Darn it. Didn't do as much this time. And the recall was welcome. I think... Ooh, not that. I think a... Dragon Rage might be good here. Just to see how much health Arcanine has. Ooh. Another takedown. That's a lot of damage. But if you use a Hyper Potion take advantage of that. Hyper Potion number two. No! And with that... Ta-da! A thousand experience. And a thousand experience. And we're done. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. And yet I still stand here. That's because I'm Blaine! That rhymed. Aren't I cool? Please validate me. Please. You have earned the Volcano Badge. And 4,700 Poké Dollars. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too. TM38. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water, Pokémon! And with that... We have done it. We have the seventh Gym Badge. There is only one more Gym Badge left to get. <laughs> Plane is all washed up. I see what you did there! Now it is time to heal up <laughs> and teach it to Cabanian. I'm not sure Cabanian can actually learn it. So... Oh, hello. Huh? Hey, if it isn't Kiko! 
Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. It's not like we can't. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called Wan Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? What do you think, guys? Shall we go to the Sevi Islands? The opportunity's here. Do you think we should go? Or should we wait? Get a sneak peek at the post game. All right, let's go. All right then, let's go. Oh, -ho! looks like my pal's boat arrived too. He said it's specially here to Cinnabar to pick me up. That's a cool looking boat. It's a fast boat too. Whoosh. Here we are. This is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. That's why it's called One Island. My friend Cedio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network. Why is lonesome? Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Cedio! Hello, all of you! Ooh, different music! Hey there, Cedio! Bill! I can't believe you came out here! Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Kiko, this is my buddy Celio. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Celio, this is Kiko, a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battle-like. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So, bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? Can we take over the world? Not now. Let's talk about the other stuff. All right, then. It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh, yeah? Okay, let me take a look-see. Hang on here, I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Kiko, can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, uh, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one's called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch being fellow maniacs. So, can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Okay! Let's just completely sidestep doing the, uh... the main plot and just do all of this. Kiko, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. The Tri-Pass! It's a pass for the ferry service serving the local islands. It'll let you travel between Islands 1, 2, and 3. Oh, you should have this too. An extra page for the town map. I'll get... I'll catch you later. Say hi to the guy for me. Hmm. How about we try this like this? I'm sorry for taking up so much of Bill's time. I'm also sorry for being such a poor host on your visit here. And so we are here! Let's talk to you. I wish I could trade Pokemon with my boyfriend who lives far away. Don't worry, you can with the internet, in later games. Oh, you're a stranger here. Hi, where do you come from? A pallet town? I don't know it. It sounds... kind of quaint. <laughs> That's right, walk away. I have a level 100. Shiny. You don't, do you? No, you don't. <laughs> On this island, there's an enormous volcano. It hasn't erupted lately, so why not enjoy a hike? Wait, what do you mean, lately? And we have a Pokemon Center. Let's heal up. Let's see what Pokemon we can battle here. Yep, another volcano, Bindle. There is another one. We could find all kinds of things here. What could possibly go wrong? Um, let me count the things that could go wrong. Hi, sightseeing are you? Isn't the warm climate here great? It's not bad. Here we are on an island smack in the middle of nowhere. Lucky to have an upstanding young man like Cedio here. My granddaughter was in a tizzy over Cedio's friend. Something about a famous Pokemaniac? I'm not sure what that means, but Cedio is quite the man. <laughs> Let's talk to everyone. How many things can go wrong? One thing, all of it. Young people all want to go off to the big cities, but I want to stay here forever! Well, good luck with that. I'm sure nothing will go wrong that will make that impossible. But 
let's talk to everyone. Like you! On sunny days, I step out and gaze upon the volcano. That's my daily routine. I have a really boring life. But I wouldn't give for a Game Boy. Let me think! When was the last time Mount Ember erupted? Hmm. I'm sure it won't happen in our lifetime. Let's keep looking around, shall we? It's Kindle Road! Shall we, uh, have a look about? Why not? I'd like to surf! Let's go! There are people here. Like you! Shall we battle? Shall we switch to a electric Pokemon so that we can battle? Or shall we switch to Zephyrus? Let's actually switch to Zephyrus here. I'm beginning to get a sunburn. Let us have a battle at the Sevi Islands! It is Abigail who has a Psyduck. Mayhem. Yippee. Lars has gifted five subscriptions there. Whoa, thank you so very much, Lars. So very generous of you, and I was honestly expecting something a little bit more special than a Psyduck. I really don't remember this part that well. Thank you so very much, though, Psyduck. Psyduck? No, Psyduck wasn't the one that gifted the subscriptions, it was Lars! Greetings, DJ Birdman. We're fighting a Psyduck at one island. I was expecting something a little bit snazzier, but hey, it's a Psyduck. Maybe Lars is a Psyduck? I, I don't think Lars is a Psyduck. Thank you very much, Lars. That is so very generous. Of you. It really is. It's a critical hit, but to be honest, it could have not been a critical hit and we'd have been absolutely fine. Also, more experience. Can't say. Ooh, it's a Golduck. Gotta watch out for that. Golducks are a little bit nastier. Fortunately, we have Giga Drain. It's pretty good, especially against Golduck. Ooh, but it didn't take you out. You have a little bit more work to do. That's gonna hurt. Not too much, though. And that'll do it. You are always confused. Aww. And we win! Oh, you're so awful! And a tiny amount of money. I like that cap you have. Maybe I should wear one too. Either way, let's keep going. What's over here? Ooh, this is... Kindle Road. Go straight for Mount Ember. Well, I feel like checking out the water some more and seeing what's here. At all, that's what's here. And it's with a tentacle. Admittedly, it's a level 25 tentacle, but it, it's still a tentacle. Yeah, if you're getting sunburn, you, you really should go inside and put on some after sun and not go out for a while. That seems like a better plan. Oh, there are people here. We should have a Pokemon battle in a bit. But first... Hey! It's a Pokemon we don't have! And a Pokemon that I really don't want to use against the Pokemon we don't have. And Long Drink is gifting five subs as well. What is going on here? So many people are gifting subscriptions. Wow, thank you so very much. Thank you. Even more gifts. The gifts never end. Also, we could... I think in dedication to those five gift subs, we should! Shall we see what happens when we press the metronome button? I think we should. Do it! People are saying I should do it! Self-destruct, here we go! Metronome! It's Maria! It increases our defense. Which isn't really gonna help us, but... We did it! Hooray! It didn't blow us up! 
And Dasdanian is gifting subs as well. Oh no, it keeps going! Thank you so very much. That is so very generous of you. Thank you. Also, Headbutt. That actually didn't do as much as I thought it would. Also, we're getting hurt by that fire spin. Oh, Headbutt! We need to catch two to trade ones. That it, mm, I don't think we need to do that, especially. The Harvey's in that animation when somebody gifts five or more subs. Thank you for noticing. It's a very subtle little thing. Time to use hypnosis. It's time for you to sleep. So that we can catch you. Fast asleep. And I think it's time to use a Great Ball. If it doesn't work, then we use an Ultra Ball. Red health, asleep. Shouldn't be too tricky. Click. Ponyta was caught. Ha ha! Ponyta's data was added to the Pokédex. Its body is light, and its legs are incredibly powerful. It can clear Aya's rock in one leap. That's quite a leap. Give a nickname to the captured Ponyta? Of course! Who wants to be Ponyta? Who's going to be Ponyta is probably the more accurate question. It's... It's Yeknom352. Okay. Just need to spell this correctly. Congratulations, Yeknom! Yeknom352. No, we're not starting with X-rays from the sun. We're not doing yet. We're not doing that again. Congratulations! You are that Pokemon. Also, we're gonna run around and see if there's anything else in the tall grass that we want. That, that's not something we want. That is not something we want. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I think that is uh. 253 monkey backwards. I think it is. Well spotted. Another Spiro. Ooh, we can't escape this time. Like the last stream is my workplace is uh, being city. Got a phone call saying you're in, and then straight afterwards another one. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that, Noon Lamb. I, I hope things get better soon. Also, that hurt. We're away, though. Let's just, uh, go around a bit more, and... That's another Ponyta. Okay, I think there's only Ponytas and Spearows here. And we can't escape. Uh-oh. That's kind of bad. Yeah, that's kind of bad for that reason. That's kind of bad. Aha, there we go. We should probably go back to the Poke Center. Because I feel like uh, this is a pretty good time to uh, to settle down and uh, close things up for the evening. Because we have now got to a new area. The Sevi Isles. Why fly when it's literally here? We can just walk. Take the scenic route. Enjoy the scenery. Listen to a slightly different music. And heal up, ready for another battle in the future. We did pretty well, though. We cleared the uh, mansion. With a little bit of help from everyone telling me where to actually go. We defeated a uh, another gym. And we're here in the new content that is unique to uh, Fire Red. Because this isn't in uh, the original. This whole area is not present. Also, why am I doing that? We can just press A here. I do like that change in Gen 3. We can just press A. And get to here. No, it's not in Let's Go. It's not. It's not in Let's Go. It's just here. Do we stand here? I think we stand right here in the grass. Watch that person run around in circles. Constantly. 
all the time. You know, you, you'll get tired eventually. This is when they don't get tired eventually. Also, I should save. This seems like a good idea, because if I don't save, bad things might happen. We have saved, though. And with that, I feel like we're at a good point to, uh, draw a close to the stream. And when we come back next time, we'll go from one island to two island. We may even go to three island. Maybe. No, thank you for being here, old dragon. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We're not done just yet, though. There are a few things I want to say, as always. First off, uh, there are now seven chapters of the of Dusseldom up on uh, my website, kikoskia.com. Still working on the eighth uh, chapter. Probably will go up at some point tomorrow. If you want to check them out, it's at uh, kikoskia.com forward slash writing forward slash Dusseldom. It's both D-U-S-T-L-E-D-O-M. You can also uh, talk about the... Um, my writing, or uh, the streams, or my videos, and all manner of other things in my uh, Discord, which you can find the links to on kikoska.com, or in the descriptions of any of my videos, or on my main YouTube channel, or on the uh, About section of the main YouTube channel. And then there is uh, the Patreon, where people can pledge to support what I do here, which is all manner of things. The writing, the streams here, all my videos, the pledges all make what I do possible, and uh, I greatly appreciate everyone who pledges, no matter how much they pledge. There's nothing hidden behind paywalls, uh, no extra content that only they see, though you do, if you are also on my uh, Discord, get access to the uh, blue name on Discord. It's a little thing just to say thank you. But there is no extra content or anything that searches for them. Everything is for everyone, whether you pledge or not. And so, I have to thank you all once again, because you, as I say, oh, I keep saying, a pouch of thanks gold. for an amazing stream, thank you very much, Deus Phoenix, for the bits, and thank you all for being so generous and so nice and just being here. You do make my content what it is. Without you, it would just be me by myself, and it would be very different. I'm just glad you like what I do. I, I really am. Kiko's dream is always fun. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. And so, whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I hope that things go well. We'll be back uh, this Friday for the variety stream, and we will be back tomorrow with the uploaded video as usual. It's not always fun. It's very unfun when it ends. I'm sorry, but all things come to an end, but it will return next Wednesday. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Also, do you hear that noise? I think that's in the, uh, the actual music. I think it is. Later. <laughs>